subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand properties of XOR, XOR and XOR, XOR gates. In our previous videos, in, in our previous two videos, we have clearly understood what is meant by a XOR gate and what is meant by XNOR gate. So based upon the understanding that we have uh, based upon the uh, uh, based upon the concepts that uh, that we have explained in our previous videos, we are going to create we are going to understand the properties of the XOR and XNOR gate in this class. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because without the understanding of those classes, it is not possible for you to understand uh, what's happening in this class and every video in our channel is going to be a uh, is, is is going to be a part of a complete course or a playlist and our suggestion is to follow the complete playlist so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to the uh, uh, coming to this class here we have two input truth table for xor and xnor two input uh, three input uh, uh, truth table for xor and xnor and similarly four input truth table for xor and xnor so based upon the output so the outputs for the xor and the xnor for different combinations of different inputs was already given now based upon the way in which the outputs are created the outputs are generated we will try to understand the logic behind it the property of the xor and xnor gates so what that property is for example if you take a two input xor and xnor gate see here how the behavior is whenever there are uh, whenever the output the input the number of inputs is two inputs uh, here the xor uh, the XNOR is the complement of XOR. So as we have discussed, XNOR gate is a not XOR gate. Adding a complement, uh, adding a negation to the XOR gate is going to generate an XNOR gate. So the discussion was already made. Now, uh, if you take a two input XOR and XNOR gate, XNOR gate, the output of the XNOR is the complement of XOR. See here, 0 means complement 1, 1 means complement 0, 1 means the complement is 0. So 0 means the complement is going to be 1. So the output of the XNOR is complement of XR for two input XR and XNOR, uh, two input combinations. Similarly, if you take three input combinations, if we take three input combinations, uh, the outputs are, see here, the output of XR is 0 and the output of XNOR is 0. So as we said, XOR, uh, XNOR is the negation of the XOR gate. So that is the reason why the XOR gates and XNOR gates are only two input XOR gates or only two input XNOR gates. There is no possibility for, there is no uh, 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 XOR or XNOR gate with three inputs or four inputs. So this is the reason because for for some kind of inputs it is going to generate the opposite and some for some kind of the inputs it is going to be generated uh, the complements see here if you take three input uh, uh, xor gate or xnor gate the outputs are same the outputs that are generated are same but as we have seen in the two input xor and xnor gate the outputs are just complements see here the outputs are same you know how to get the outputs so the discussion was already made in our previous videos and similarly if you take a four input xor gate and xnor gate see the outputs outputs are just the complements outputs are just complements of uh, each other if you take xnor xor gate the comp the output of the xnor gate is the complement of xor gate this is a complement 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 see here so what is the property what is the property that we need to understand is uh, whenever the inputs are odd in number the outputs generated by the xor and xnor are same here the input is odd in number the number of inputs are odd here the number of uh, inputs are even here also the number of inputs are even in number 
फोर इज एन इवन नंबर थ्री इज एन ऑड नंबर एंड थ्री टू इज एन इवन नंबर सो वेन एवर द इनपुट्स और इवन the complements are generated for xor and x not the complements will get generate the outputs are going to be the complements of each other whenever the inputs are odd in number the complements are uh, the outputs that are generated for x and xor and x not are same so that is the property that is the important property that we need to understand okay so uh, whenever questions were asked in gate uh, to find the output of a six input xor gate so then it is very easy to understand six input means uh, uh, xor and xnor are going to be the complements so that is the point that you have to understand okay so and uh, uh, how to find the outputs if if the uh, to find the output of an xor gate for six inputs so if the number of ones in the xor ones in the input are odd in number the xor is going to generate a one so these concepts were already discussed in our previous classes and whenever the number of zeros in the inputs are even in number then the output is going to be a then the output is going to be a one in xnor case okay so uh, this is the property that we need to understand hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding these concepts please post your doubts in the comment section below thanks for watching